greetings for the day. I am Dr. Suresh. We ran the army injury. I am a senior consultant chest physician with Lilamati Vaspreet since many years. Many years means anything more than 15 years. And it's been a pleasure associated with me here. And my field of interest, of course, has been predominantly bronchial asthma, respiratory and other emergencies, and management of pulmonary tuberculosis in difficult cases where the routine management is different from the specialized management that we are doing. Now coming to the bronchial asthma, things have changed tremendously over the years. Initially, it was believed that only the muscles constrict and the patient is not able to breathe. And we were of the opinion, no, there is some sort of a swelling or inflammation, which is a main cause. And as we started and moved ahead in time, and with the help of the hospital and our patients, we realized that inflammation has become one of the major issues in the management of bronchial asthma. So the first thing that we have now realized is to manage bronchial asthma, either by control of the infection, control of the inflammation, and in a good percentage of cases, control of the allergic mechanisms that are aggravating the bronchial asthma. In the newer modalities of control of the allergies, we have what is known as allergen-specific immunotherapy, where we identify the allergens and we prepare a specific immunotherapy for the patients in the form of a vaccine so that the percentage of allergy, which is one of the major indications for asthma, is reduced tremendously. Both composure, it becomes very less. Though the other factors, genetic infections, can be controlled by means of medicine, though genetics is what you get from the family. But genetics are again two. What you inherit and what the outside atmosphere makes the changes to the inheritance, which we know as phenotype, like the environment and the other factors. Now coming to the other stress, which is there are allergies which we are doing very significantly, both for right from the tip of the nose till the end of the alveoli, where we feel that the allergic mechanism is not only in the lungs, but it starts from the tip of the nose and goes right up to the lungs. So we take care of all that, including rhinitis, sinusitis, upper airway allergy, small airway allergies, and bronchial asthma, and all allergic features of all lung diseases also. Now coming to the next one, the pulmonary tuberculosis. Uh, there was a time when it had shot to a very high extent, came under control. Then came the picture of HIV. The HIV again, because the resistance of the patient being low, the HIV made tuberculosis rampant. After control of HIV, we thought that we have seen a little drop in the tuberculosis. But now what is why some is not only the ordinary tuberculosis, but the MDR, the multi-drug resistant, the XDR tuberculosis, which was always detected where the primary eye of the patient failed in the management of the, taking proper medications, or the dosages were not proper, or the adequate drug dosages and the drugs were not proper. So then the MDR came. But today, it's a very frightening situation where the primary disease, the first time, a patient who is never sick, is afflicted with an MDR tuberculosis. An MDR tuberculosis disease whereby the regular medicines may not, you know, the rifampicin group and the iron age group may be totally resistant. Though it is always better to test for all the drugs to see whether the primary drugs are also resistant of ethambutol, pyrazinamide. And then you have to go to the MDR, XDR and total resistance. The incidence, which I must say, of late that we are seeing little less in tuberculosis, according to me, is because of the fear of COVID and the wearing of masks, which has decreased the incidence of tuberculosis. I am noticing that there is a significant drop. So whether to, uh, this should be maintained in the long term in patients of tuberculosis. Coming to the part where the most important aspect that we have realized now, whether it is your infection susceptibility, that means you are prone to infections, whether it is you are prone to allergies, whether you are prone to tuberculosis, genetically or otherwise, the bottom line is your resistance. 
your body resistance is the most important come what may maintain your blood's body resistance to the highest level which protects you against bacteria fungus viruses prions allergies infections of any sort your immune innate what is known as the innate resistance of the body is very important and that has to be maintained as the old saying which is still valid today one man's food another man's poison the same disease affects one man does not affect because of the immunity which that particular person has that is by protecting himself eating well breathing well very very important so basic health management is the most important that is required